Uh, good morning. Uh, <laughs> I always manage to get this microphone either on or off in the wrong place. So, um, I, I thank you all for the messages of goodwill and um, the, the agreement that yes, I'm an old fart, but perhaps a tolerable old fart. <laughs> yes, they, for my uh, 79th birthday. Um, I'm not at all sure that. Uh, um, I'm sorry if I'm gasping a bit, but the fact is that getting technology going, one man bands, is a. <laughs> it's wonderful that, that we've got this technology to be able to do, but it still needs a lot of fiddling with, <laughs> and so on just to to get the the picture going and make sure that it's going out onto the internet and into um, into some homes. Well, quite a few homes, actually. We do quite well. It depends what we talk about, but uh, we have had up to uh, two or 3,000 people dip into our programme. And over a, a, a week, uh, we've reached as many as 20,000, which uh, it just depends what we're talking about, what the mood of the country is, what the mood of the, the people is. But one of the things that I think that I should stress before I say thank you so much to all those people who sent me messages of goodwill yesterday uh, about um, <laughs> being 79, <laughs> there are a few that, that, that remarked that perhaps getting to 80 might just stretch the tolerance of the world. <laughs> there we are, <laughs> and why not? <laughs> uh, but um, it was a relatively quiet day, but by the time I'd finished at looking at all the messages that flooded in most of the day went away and um, I, I had planned to go out for a celebratory lunch as we often uh, will as families or uh, individuals just to celebrate a special day and birthdays are special to the individual concerned but it was such a rotten day that venturing forth out of even Lewis was not a, a, a wise thing to do. Uh, so I, I went down to a little wine bar called Symposium and uh, I, I sat there with uh, a, a very nice glass of red wine, uh, a little bread, uh, a little hummus, um, a notebook and, and I whiled away an hour or two and it was very refreshing because whether you like it or not and uh, the, the older you get, the more involved you get in your community with your specialism. And uh, mine, of course, is uh, is television news, radio news, and news of all sorts, uh, writing, communication, and that that whole area is uh, I could never give it up, and it it swallows up your day. I quite often find that I start to write, and I think that it's ten o'clock in the morning, and I look up, and it's got to two o'clock in the afternoon. You can get that intense about it. Uh, anyway, it, it was a day that in which I spent a couple of hours with a nice... Well, I had two glasses of wine, actually. <laughs> uh, and um, I made, uh, was able to contemplate uh, uh, about the, the world. And, yeah, it was a lovely day for me. And I, uh, once again, I do thank everybody for their uh, good wishes. And I'll, it would be nice if I could send back individual replies, but... <laughs> that would take me another two days, uh, so perhaps you'll take this as a thank you, uh, and I will send one out on Facebook that's written. But in in contemplating the fact that I now can look ahead for another 12 months uh, to my 80th birthday, I, I, I've had several younger people say, uh, but it, it's an awful world out there. And I have to say that I, I do feel a little discombobulated uh, myself about what's happening. And I, I think the fact of the matter is that our political, not system, but our, those inhabitants of it, uh, those residents of it, need to either shake themselves up or we need a complete change. Now, in the United States, they've had a complete change. They had Donald Trump. And everybody, uh, well, not everybody, but many people, particularly here, where we're not privy to what goes on in the United States, um, is, is we, we guffaw and we say, ah, what a buffoon, da, 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 da. Well, Trump is far from a buffoon. He may uh, have some very peculiar habits. One would suspect that he could take a course in protocol. But because we don't live in the States, we actually don't get a real feel for somebody like that. And he actually got through the midterm elections 
relatively unscathed. Now, the midterms are in the United States elections, time for the electorate to say, hey, boo, you know, you're not doing such a good job, pull your socks up. Well, that didn't happen to him. Yes, he lost the House of Representatives, uh, but uh, uh, he, he retained the Senate. And uh, uh, generally speaking, he, he wasn't, didn't fare too badly. And I think there is a message here for all of us, and that is that the established parties have got themselves so entrenched, and the, ex the, the present system has got itself almost looking up its own navel. Um, it, 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 that life isn't as good as it could be because our systems are breaking down, and that the one weapon that we have, and that is the vote, we've used to say, hey, come on, get your act together. We really want leadership from you. We don't want this strutting and a, a, a power crazy approach to things that politicians tend to take and the civil service uh, even more so. Um, because basically, Ken Clark stood up in the House of Commons and his pronouncement on Brexit was, what the hell do those people out there know? We have been here for years and years and years, and we should decide this, and we should decide that. Well, no, I'm sorry, Ken. That's not the case. The fact is, those people who have been lifetime politicians, such as yourself, um, yes, okay, I've, I've seen you down in Hove at beer festivals, and uh, you're, you're a very homely chap, you know, your hush puppies and your pint in hand, well, very good image. But the fact of the matter is, you, any more than most of the other people now representing us, haven't done a day's work. Not real work. You, you get so entrenched in the House of Commons, in Parliament, that you don't know what's going on outside. Well, we do. We get our fingernails dirty on a daily basis, and we get a broad idea of what it is that we're looking for and that we want, and that we want you and your colleagues to deliver. Well, you aren't delivering. And that's why we find Trump and Trudeau in Canada. And we saw Nigel Farage uh, uh, flash across the scene. And that in Italy, they've got a right-wing government. And in Spain, they've got a government that once again, like yours, doesn't know much of what it's doing. And, and Angela Merkel, under threat. Macron, popularity at the lowest point ever. Uh, some of the northern states beginning to want to do what we are doing at the moment, and that's break away. What we want is we want leadership. We don't want strutting, and we don't want decisions based on the fact that you have got a very nice number, if you like, in the House of Commons. We want people to lead us, and that's true of the local scene as well. Now, I've often said, and yes, okay, yesterday was a lot of fun, and boy did I enjoy the morning, but Life is serious, and there are serious things that need to be looked at. And I've often said, and in fact it is a mantra of our little television channel, that we may be local, but we're not parochial. So when I talk about Donald Trump and Farage, I have to ensure that that reflects some of the things that are happening locally, and some of those things are happening locally. Um, Lewis I. And I don't know who runs Lewis I. All I can say is that they are the closest thing to investigative journalists that we've got in, in the Lewis district. And they actually do look at the East Sussex County Council. So from Battle to Brighton, Mirador country, as we call it, is they, they, they look at that as well. And they've, they've had a number of concerns about the bigger government, if you like, the county council. And uh, uh, now after the row about bus passes and so on, which is not going to go away. In fact, we'll <laughs> keep on raising it, just as indeed we do other issues, um, to keep them bubbling along because they need to be looked at and not forgotten. Uh, but uh, the, the, uh, Lewis I has uh, asked the question, with the Lewis plan for the next 20 years, which has just been narrowly voted through, is are the officials in the council pulling the wool over the eyes of, of the elected people? And it wouldn't surprise me one little bit because, <laughs> generally speaking, the elected people 
other people that, that, that get there and haven't really done much serious work outside. Although I would hope that at a local level that's not quite the same as Westminster. But also, the people inside the council, they haven't done much outside either. And councils have very strange civil servant type operations. They don't reflect what's happening in the marketplace. In fact, I think that they would prefer not to have an open market economy. <laughs> Their central planning would suit them fine. But Louis I says, have they actually um, given a bum steer to our politicians so that the vote passed this plan, uh, which is devastating for the environment? Um, and he's going to turn uh, uh, Lewis, and I suspect um, uh, right across the, the, the southeast is where we're going to become an urban sprawl just servicing the people who uh, work in London. Uh, and uh, if that's what we want for our children, I mean, my God, what sort of thinking are we as, and do we have as a community, as a society, and as a generation? Um, I, uh, the reason that I think that Lewis I might be onto something, and I think that if only we could get some investigative journalism uh, locally, is that uh, my <laughs> whistleblower, if you like, <laughs> I've got a couple inside the council, so if, if the council wants to go on a witch hunt, forget it, because you'll never uncover them. But my whistleblower says that uh, when the council, and I think this was to do with the scrutiny committee, I, I was asking about the scrutiny committee, because I thought that's a jolly good idea that the politicians could keep an eye on the executive. <laughs> <laughs> the whistleblower <laughs> eyes rolled to the heavens and said, <laughs> uh, "The people inside just just twist the tails of the politicians. <laughs> they can flip them around their little finger." So I think there may be some merit into some questions being asked about this plan. It only only went through by one vote. Um, and it, it doesn't look at all a very sensible plan at all. I mean, it really doesn't. Uh, and it, 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 either it was passed by an elite who have never, ever bothered to wander the streets of our fair town and the fair towns between here and, uh, and battle, uh, where we've got some beautiful countryside, we've got some beautiful towns, we've got beautiful buildings, and, and if you want to rip that up, <laughs> you, you've got to be slightly crackers. Uh, I'm... I, I'm, I've got a view about uh, uh, this, all this business of mental health that's going on at the moment is that uh, there are more cuckoos outside the nest than there are inside. Uh, but then again, that's another topic. Uh, but uh, um, it, it is, it is uh, uh, disturbing. And also uh, in one of the groups, and really the, the groups are pretty damn good, you know. Uh, okay, a lot of people want to find their cat and, and, and uh, uh, see who's damaged the, um, the, the local green and... Uh, um, yeah, and, and yes, it should serve that purpose, but there are some people on the groups that ask serious questions. And one of those serious questions is, uh, um, you know, why do councils do various things? And that's, that's my purpose. I have to ask why. I don't have a massive array of reporters to go and look at, into things. I can only ask the questions and hope that other people will say, aha, I noticed that, or aha, I noticed this, and that we all ask questions of our, quote, leaders, and that we can get some answers. And I'm not very confident that they've got people that, 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 that want to give us answers. Uh, and uh, that's got to change. Um, I'm leaning forward because I like to keep an eye on the time, and this is a real rant this morning. But one of the people in the groups pointed out that Lewis District Council, uh, um, uh, who, who seem, you know, this word diversity, which frightens the hell out of me, because it covers such a wide r region, it's almost getting to the point where, in my opinion, uh, it, it, it starts to look like a witch hunt. Um, is let, Let's look for uh, somebody breaking some sort of vague rules wherever we possibly can. That's not what society is all about. Society is making sure that we follow a rule of law, uh, and, and, and a, a, a rule of law doesn't fall into funny categories about uh, wispy ideas. Uh, let's follow rule of law. That's what we want our council to do. But, uh, but apparently some of the suggestions that, that the bonfire societies have got isms is uh, distasteful to me. Uh, and it, it starts to smack of people using their position to uh, pump their own ideas of what our society should be all about. Have your own ideas about what society is all about. But trying to use uh, uh, your position to 
influence people to your own way of thinking is quite wrong. And that's not what democracy is all about. Boy, I'm going to get myself into real trouble this morning. I know, I can just see it rising. But I just feel, now that I've entered my 80th year, uh, that I want to, when I peg it, be at least a contributor to a decent and honest and a fair society. And I am not at all sure that that's what we've got out there. I am quite disturbed, and, and particularly when people that aren't terribly politically conscious are saying to me, it's an awful world out there. What a horrible world. Then I think I and, long, and others need to take account of that. Um, it, it's, um, thank goodness I can rant like this. Uh, and thank goodness uh, we, we have uh, the internet and, and people like Facebook to provide Facebook Live. I know it's a controversial organization at the moment, and, uh, and a lot of people are saying, uh, Facebook. Yeah, the very people that use it, by the way, are normally saying, uh, Facebook or uh, YouTube or uh, some of the other social media. Well, yes, it is open to abuse. You know, I, 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 I get trolls from time to time popping up here. It's, it is open to abuse. Of course it is, but you know, so is everything else that we do in our society. And I think that uh, where we've got to measure it is these things really broadly fall down on the good side or the bad side. And the fact that we can communicate this way is on the good side. I'm going well over my time this morning, but uh, tomorrow what I would like to do is to say, hey, what I've said this morning will probably come under fierce criticism. But you know, Facebook is saying, we're pouring six million pounds into local investigative journalism. It's disappeared off the face of the planet, and it has. We don't have real local newspapers anymore, and we don't have real local reporting. Not the way that we did in, in, a, in the golden era of, of democracy uh, of 20 or 30 years ago. No, it wasn't a golden era, but it was better than it was now. It is now. Uh, and uh, we, we've got the London Assembly saying, Please, please, media, after all we've said about you, come back, because nobody is really looking at what we're doing in a critical and, and uh, uh, independent way. And the BBC have got a, a scheme to support local reporters who will go and follow local councils. Um, I don't know that uh, we've benefited from that. Uh, uh, we, we should. There are people, serious people, who recognise that perhaps what I'm saying, um, even if they don't agree with me, needs to be looked at. Well, at least there is some backing there, and hopefully the things that I've been saying will stir somebody this morning to say, what a prat, what an idiot, because the moment people start to call me an idiot, we've got a debate going. Let's debate it, please, let's debate it. I want my 12 months to be a wonderful 12 months, 12 months in which we make sure that we're laying the foundations for a wonderful society for my grandchildren and their children and their children after them. It's in our hands, nobody else's. Don't look around for somebody else to help. It's up to us. Toodle pip.